Ladies and gents, you wanted a how to do a pull-up video, so in honor of the move challenge this week, here it is. Thumbs up if you wanna learn how to do a pull-up. Now ladies specifically, we have been told forever that we can't do pull-ups. Let me tell ya, that is crap. I wasn't one of those kids who could do a pull-up my whole life. As a kid, when we would take that terrible presidential fitness test, which I hated because I was not an athletic kid who loved PE, I could not do a pull-up at all. I even hated having to hang from the bar. Some kids could just jump up there and do one or five or 10 pull-ups and I couldn't do crap. I started taking fitness a little more seriously in 2010 and still for years, I could not do a pull-up. In 2014, my goal was to get one pull-up. I spent 2014 in literally learning how to do a pull-up properly and I reached my goal. I was able to get one pull-up. By 2015, I was able to get 10 pull-ups. It can totally be done. When you research how to do a pull-up, you'll find a lot of articles that tell you do lap pull-downs or arm hangs or shoulder presses. And while those are all things you should be doing to increase your strength, you can't do those and just expect to be able to do a pull-up magically. It won't happen. Pull-downs do work the same muscle groups, but pull-down trains maximal strength or how much weight you can pull down. And a pull-up works relative strength or your ability to move body weight through a plane of motion. They're very different. So here is the heartbreaking news. News. The only way to learn how to do a pull-up is to do pull-ups. You must practice actual pull-ups to learn to do them. The problem, pull-ups suck. They're hard. I would rather do heavy lap pull-downs any day. Even though I can do 10 of them still, I dread back day because I know I'm gonna have to do them, but you just gotta do it. If you can't do a pull-up on your own, start with assisted pull-ups. The assisted machine is a great place to start. You're gonna set the weight as low as you can. This is one exercise where the higher weight will actually be easier because it uses counterbalance weights. So if you don't know where to start, try about 20 pounds less than your own weight. So if you weigh 130 pounds, set the machine to 110. We wanna start to perfect our form now before we move away from the assisted pull-up. So some of these machines you stand on and some of your knees go on the pad, just kinda depends, but they function the same. You're gonna grab the handles tightly. Uh, for pull-ups, you want a pronated or overhand grip. So your hands are facing away from you, just slightly wider than shoulder width. The wider you go, the more challenging it is. If you use a supinated or underhand grip where your hands face you, it's a chin-up, not a pull-up, and it is easier than a pull-up. Neutral grip is also easier, and that's when your palms face each other. Now, as far as your thumbs go, do what feels comfortable. Some people think it's easier with the thumbs over the bar, some think it's better wrapped. Uh, just do what works for you. I sort of switch off and honestly, I don't have a preference. When you've got the grip on the bar, you're gonna let yourself hang. Keep your abs engaged, keep your spine neutral, keep your shoulders pressed down and back. We don't wanna hunch our shoulders. Think about bringing them away from your ears, keep it long. Then you can start to pull up as high as possible, keeping everything engaged, and then slowly release back down until the arms are straight. Not bent, straight. Bent is cheating. The reason you'll see guys go into the gym and they pull themselves up and down halfway is because it is easier to not go all the way down, but it is not a full range of motion that way. So go all the way down. You wanna repeat that 10 to 15 times and do a few sets, maybe three to four sets a few times a week. The more often you can do this, the better. And if you can do it every other day, that is great. You're gonna be on your way. Once a week might not be enough, especially when you're just getting started. Change your weight as you go. So if you tried the 110 and 15 of them felt easy, you know, go down another 10 to 20 pounds. You want to adjust the weight until it's hard to get 10. I usually go by the 12 rule. If I can hit 12 reps, it's time to move the weight up, or in this case, down. <laughs> Once you've done the assisted machine and you get to a pretty low weight, maybe less than 50 pounds supplemented, consider trying an assisted pull-up with a band. Now, I will link this band in the description. I got it on Amazon. There are different sizes and resistance levels, but these are great because they force you to feel the full movement a little bit more with not only less resistance, but also less equipment. Loop the band around a pull-up bar, place the center of your dominant foot into the bottom center of the band, and slightly bend your non-working leg and cross it behind. Grab the pull-up bar, you may have to jump, use a partner, or keep a box or dumbbell nearby for a boost, and set your grip as you did previously. 
Slide your shoulder blades down, engage your abs, brace your glutes so everything is stable, and then pull your chin up towards the bar and let your elbows point towards the floor. Try to have your chin clear the bar if you can. With these, I usually go for six to 10 reps, three to four sets, depending on how I'm feeling and how much resistance the band is. I wish I could tell you when this starts to get easy, move to unassisted, but the truth is they won't ever really feel easy. They get less stressful, but they're always challenging. There's one more step I would advise before doing unassisted pull-ups, and that is negatives. So with negatives, you're pretty much focusing on the negative part of the movement. You might need either a bench or a partner to help you get into position if you're not strong enough to do it on your own yet. And remember, you can do this on either an assisted machine or with the band too. Once you're at the top of the pull-up bar, you are going to slowly lower yourself down, taking as long as possible. These really suck, I'm not gonna lie. I usually only do about five at a time, so what I would do sometimes is, you know, three sets of regular pull-ups, whether they're assisted or not, and then maybe one, two sets of negatives at the end kind of depends. Of course, as I said before, you have got to practice pull-ups to learn how to do them, but you also have to make sure you're keeping up with your overall strength. So make sure you are doing other back exercises each week. I usually do pull-ups as my first exercise on back day, so I hit them when I'm my strongest and get them out of the way ASAP. Uh, some other exercises you may want to include to build strength are dead hangs, just hanging on the bar for as long as you can. Um, flex hangs, which is what they made us do in PE when I couldn't do pull-ups, uh, rows with dumbbells, barbells, cable machines, and pull-downs. So those are my basic tips on how to do a pull-up. If you have mastered the pull-up and you wanna share some tips, please do so in the comments below. And if you want more exercise or fitness videos on this channel, let me know and give this video a thumbs up. I've been so hesitant to bring fitness here because you know we've done mostly food for so long, but fitness is a huge passion of mine, so if it's something that you want, I will definitely try to get it up here. Tag me in your pull-up efforts on social media with the Redefine Health tag, and remember, it's all a matter of mind over munch.